Hi there, welcome back to my channel and the long awaited UFO whip vlog update and a little giveaway. Thank you so much for being here today, friends. Well, um, I know it's been a while since I've done a UFO whip vlog update. Um, a lot of things happened, we're going on. I was lost my sojo a bit after my last retreat, not because of the retreat, just lots of other things going on. Um, and it took a flu bug to get it back. <laughs> I had the flu and I couldn't sew for several days and I felt horrible and I really wanted, all I wanted to do was sew. And so that made me get back into the mode of sewing. So don't recommend getting the flu to get your sojo back, but <laughs> in my case, it did help me. Um, if you do lose your sojo, I would say, Maybe take a break from sewing for a while, take a vacation. I don't mean necessarily go somewhere because I know a lot of you can't go anywhere, but do something else, garden, cross stitch, bake, do something else for a little while. Um, and then eventually, if you are a true sewist or quilter like I am, it'll come back to you, you'll want to do it. For me, it only lasted a couple days um, where I didn't want to sew. Well, it actually it lasted quite a while where I didn't want to sew a whole lot. Um, and but those few days where I couldn't sew, uh, that really got me in the mode to sew again. So, like I said, I don't re recommend getting the flu, but, <laughs> but do something else to find your your way back. So, you just need to kind of take a break and distract yourself. If you find yourself in your sewing room and you're sitting and just staring at stuff and not getting anything done, you've probably lost your sojo and it's time to take a break. All right. That being said, um, I know during the um, So Yeah Retreat wrap video, I said I was going to give away their box that they had given me and I never put that video up and I had completely forgotten to put it up um, just because of everything going on. I had a lot in a space of a month and then like I said, I kind of lost my Sojo so I didn't really want to be in my space for a while so um, now that I'm back, I'm ready to do that. But thanks to all of you and to Soya yeah, because I did an interview with Tiankum, which I will link down below if you're interested in seeing it over on Soya's yes channel. Uh, I have now reached 15,000 subscribers. So all I can say is thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you ever meet me in person, you'll know that I'm being real. And I honestly really, truly appreciate that. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you. Um, but I just love this community. I love the quilting community. You're all so supportive and I truly appreciate you being here. So thank you. So today I'm going to give away not only that box, but I'm also going to give away the two others because they gave me three to give away and I was just going to give one away at a time. But um, I decided because it's been such a long time and I hit 15,000 subscribers that we would just do a really big giveaway and give all three away. So at some point in this video, I will post the names of the winners. Those winners need to contact me at stephanies.stitches at yahoo.com. And I will put my email down in the description box below and send me your name and your full address and I'll get those out to you ASAP. I'm so excited to get those to you because their boxes are great and I really hope you enjoy it and thank you so much to Soya yeah for doing that and Tiankum, he's the one who um, sent those along with me. So, um, like I said, at some point in this video I will post the names probably at the very end. Um, so look for those names and see if you're a winner and then get in touch with me. Um, so for a UFO update, so let's get to that. So the quilt behind me. Um, I've been working on with Sean, the guy who sews. He and I are making the same quilt. I still need to put borders on it and we're going to do our final reveal of our quilt being done right here on my channel live on May 20th for Saturdays with Steph. So he'll be live with me at 5 p.m. So I hope you come over and take a peek at our quilt. So this is just kind of a sneak peek on the wall behind me. Like I said, it's not completely done. The blocks are done. I need to put my borders on and of course quilt it and bind it. Um, so that's getting on its way, which I'm really excited about. Um, I don't have anything else to show you guys as far as some of the things I was working on, like the puzzle mystery quilts and the socialites, because I haven't really made any progress on those, to be honest with you. Because like I said, I lost my sojo for a while. 
I am excited to get back though and hopefully I'll have some more progress on those next week to show you guys. I was doing a really good job of keeping up with the socialites. I was really proud of myself and then I lost it and I kind of got behind. So now I'm going to catch up because I'm ready to sew again. But the one thing I do have to show you guys is I had been showing you, if you remember, the joyful uh, quilt pattern by Coriander Quilts. Uh, I had showed you guys some of my blocks that I made for that, but I finished the quilt top except for borders. I have to put borders on it, but in the last couple of days, I worked really hard and I got the quilt top done because I've been really wanting to finish this for quite a while. I love the fabric line that I picked. It was Sunwashed by Cori Yoder, which is not the what she wrote the pattern for. She actually wrote the pattern for Buttercup and Slate, but I didn't love it in those colors. It looked a little bit too washed out to me, although I do love that fabric. So I chose this fabric instead and I love how it came out. So I'm going to show you that now. So these, I've shown you some of these blocks, but I finished all of them now and I've got it together. I'm not tall enough to show it all at once, but <laughs> hopefully you guys can see all that, but I got it together in a quilt top. Once I get it all done, my borders on um, and quilted, I'll bring it back and hang it on the wall behind me so you guys can see it. But I'm super really happy with this. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love the way it turned out. I can't wait to get the borders on and get it quilted. Here's kind of the bottom. I'm not tall enough for you guys to see it all, sorry. So here's the bottom. So I'm happy to say that I made progress on something. <laughs> and this is, it's so pretty. I can't wait to get this done and start using it. So I got that done. Um, I've done a lot of things that I can't show you guys because they're for other companies. So I have sewn some things. I just haven't sewn a lot of personal things. Haven't been motivated to. Sometimes if you do things for work, it becomes not fun anymore. Um, and that happens. And that was probably part of what led to my losing my sojo. But, um, but that's okay. I've got it back now. And I'm really excited to get going and sewing again because... I did miss it. All right, so those are the only things I've been working on that I could show you. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to talk about is my friend Shannon Way over at Slay Arts. She's got a new channel right here on YouTube. She's a great lady. She does a lot of paper piecing. She's doing a Legit Kits Block of the Month so along. If you have not heard of Legit Kits, which you probably have because they're kind of everywhere right now, they can be a little bit intimidating. Um, but Legit Kits decided to do a block of the month to make it a little easier, which I think is really cool because I do have a couple Legit Kits. When you get them, they're this huge packet. <laughs> you get about that big of a stack of fabric and the pattern itself is about that thick. So the block of the month for anybody who is new to Legit Kits or new to paper piecing um, will make it really easy for you to understand how the quilt kits go together um, by breaking it up a little piece at a time so you don't get intimidated by this huge quilt kit because they're going to send us, I believe it's four blocks a month. So I'm really excited for that to start. I just got my shipping notification and it's supposed to be here Friday. So I'll do a quick little video when it comes and show you um, what it looks like. But Shannon's going to be sewing that on her channel on Sunday. But the other thing that Shannon's going to be doing, and I will link her channel down below for you guys because she's great. You need to check her out if you haven't already. The other thing that Shannon and I are going to be doing is we're going to be doing a two color quilt sew along. So two colors mean something different to everybody. So to me, two colors means I'm going to take yardage of two different colors and I'll show you my colors. Of course, you guys know I love blue. So I'm doing blue and I'm doing cream. So those are my two colors. I'm going to use that for my entire quilt. Now, two colors to you can mean something different. So if you're somebody who, for, for instance, likes red and you've been saving lots of red fat quarters and they're not all the same fabric, but they're all red and you've got all those reds and you've got, say, a white or a gray that you want to pair with it. Take all those reds and your white or your gray or whatever you want to pair with it. Black would look good with red and make your two color quilt. That's perfectly fine. We're not saying you can only use two fabrics. That's what I'm choosing to do. I actually think Shannon is using green and I think she might be using several different fabrics of green as well. And then I can't remember what her second color is gonna be. I think she was debating between gray or white. So whatever her second color ends up being, um, but her greens I think are all gonna be different fabrics. So we're not saying you can't use different fabrics. 
just pick two main colors. We're not going to put like a blue and a cream and I'm not going to throw in a purple or a red or a yellow. We're just going to, I'm just going to use blue and cream and she's going to do greens and whatever her choice is. So we'd love to have you join us for that. That begins, the sew along begins May 16th. We're going to be live on her channel. We're going to go back and forth every month. One month we're going to sew it on her channel. One month we're going to sew it on my channel. And all the information that you need will be in my blog, Stephanie Scoop, right, or Steph Scoop on my um, website, stephanies-stitches.com. And I will put all this information down in the description box below this video if you would like to join us. The patterns for this month. Um, are up there on my blog right now. There's two blocks this month. We're going to have two blocks every month for six months. So we're going to have a total of 12 blocks. Now, the way this works, if you didn't see our announcement video, which it's right here on my channel, if you want to find the announcement video, is the first Tuesday of every month, we're going to have show you guys six blocks and we're going to put up a poll and have you guys pick which two blocks that you want us to sew. And then a week later, I'm going to put up the patterns on my blog. You can grab your patterns, get your fabrics together, get everything cut, and then the third Tuesday of every month, we're going to sew this together. So I'm really excited about this sew along. I hope you will join us. If you do join us, we would love it if you would send us a picture of your finished blocks at my email, which I will put in the blog down or the description box down below as well. Um, and then we'll show those on the next month's Tuesday, the first Tuesday when we're picking the blocks. We'll also show everybody's completed blocks if you send them to us because we would love to see what fabrics you picked because depending on what the fabrics you picked and how you place them in your block, your blocks could look completely different from ours. So we're very excited, Jen and I, to see what all of you come up with. So I hope you'll join us for that. Um, let me think. Okay, I don't think I have any other sewing things to show you except acquisitions. So I didn't really buy anything this week, which is good because <laughs> my credit card needed a break after <laughs> credit card needed a break after uh, purchasing a few things like the um, Tula Pink new fabric that came out. <laughs> I think almost everybody knows what that is, the Everglow with all the animals on it. It's gorgeous. I got some of that. Um, but what I wanted to show you was a gift from my friend, Steven of Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter. Uh, he just recently had, um, a retreat and he does a retreat about twice a year, a virtual retreat on Zoom. It's a private retreat, so it's not on YouTube or anything like that. And all you have to do to go to the retreat is send him an email and say, I'd like to attend the retreat and he signs you up. Now it is a commitment, you do need to show up even though it's completely free, but he has games, giveaways, and he has speakers. Um, and this time I was one of the speakers and as a thank you, which he did not need to do, <laughs> he sent me a nice gift for being a speaker. And thank you from the bottom of my heart, Steven, if you're watching this, it really meant the world to me. I opened this and I was like, <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys what I got because it was really sweet. He worked really hard on these things. I know he did and I want him to know how much I appreciate it. So he sent me this cute little mug rug that says the Idiot Quilter Retreat 2023 because that's what he kind of nicknamed himself is the Idiot Quilter. I'm not insulting him because <laughs> he, he makes some mistakes sometimes. He goes, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so he loves gnomes. So he made me this cute adorable little mug rug it says the idiot quilter as you can see retreat 2023 so really really cute and then he made this cute little pin cushion thing you can see the gnome right here and you can put wonder clips in this section right here so i love that and then i got a little seam ripper holder as you can see there's a seam ripper in there that's also got a gnome on it Told you he likes gnomes. <laughs> and then I've got a little cup with a top on it that screws. And he, um, here's also a gnome. He had, he 3D prints all this stuff because he loves 3D printers and he does such an amazing job. I don't even know where he comes up with some of these ideas, but really cute, like screw top uh, little cup there, which is really nice. But the piece de resistance, which I love is this adorable little bucket and you could use this for scraps 
you could use this to, like on your table as you're cutting and things that you're not going to keep like little tiny bits throw it in here before you put it in the real trash um or you could store i don't know anything else in there anything in your sewing room but it's gorgeous it looks like a thimble but it's this gorgeous can and he put the idiot quilter spring retreat 2023 but look how pretty it changes color and the colors coming across the screen really nicely i can see that now it's pretty much the color it is but gorgeous the color is just beautiful and i would bet as large as this is because this was made on a 3d printer as well it probably took days and days to make this and so steven thank you so much i love it I really appreciate everything you did to make this for me, all the effort that went into it and the time, because I can't, I can't. <laughs> you made me all this beautiful stuff and thank you. And he knows that my favorite colors are like blue and purple, so everything was like the perfect color for me too. So it's just gorgeous, beautiful. I think he should sell them, but I don't think he wants to, so don't tell him I said that. <laughs> So that's really all my acquisitions for the week. Uh, next week, this this Saturday on my channel, Saturdays with Steph, we're going to be sewing the puzzle mystery quilt. So I hope you'll join us for that. Um, I know that a few people aren't going to be there because they're going to be out of town visiting relatives, but we still have plenty of ladies sewing along. So that's going to be great. Um, and then, like I said, next week, Sean, the guy who sews, is going to be on my channel on, I think I believe that's the 20th at 5 p.m. live. And we're going to show the quilt behind me finished because he made this as well he he chose similar but different colors um so it'd be interesting to see how they both turn out um so i've got to get to work and finish this <laughs> so i'm going to get off of here and let you guys go but thank you for being patient with me and thank you for being here and waiting for me to put up a, another ufo whip video and i also really appreciate you guys asking because several of you have asked me multiple times and that's kept me kind of in the mood to make one, but I just really haven't had anything to show. So I felt weird just coming on and saying, well, I don't have anything. <laughs> so my goals for the next week is to try to get some of those socialites blocks caught up because so many people, they've already finished the program. They've already, people have already put the whole quilt together and got it quilted and everything. So I feel like I'm behind, but I also feel like I'm putting that pressure on myself. Um, because who cares when I finish it, right? But I do want to finish it. So I'm going to get to work on those. I'm going to get to work on a few other projects. Um, I have got to get to work next week because the Fort Worth Fabric Studio so along starts, American Made. So that begins on Monday, May 15th. So lots of fun stuff coming up. So good thing I got my sojo back just in time. All right, well, I'm going to say goodbye, but after I say goodbye, you'll see the list of names come up for the Soya yeah Friends box that will pop up. And if you're a winner, please contact me by Monday, May 15th. If you haven't contacted me by then, I'm going to pick new winners. But hopefully all of you are still hanging around and check it out and hopefully your name's on the list. All right, guys, thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.